I'm a sensei and I'm also a hibasha, born in East Los Angeles in 1938. In 1940, uh, we had heard that, that our grandfather, who lives in Hiroshima, was deathly ill. So we got on the boat uh, from San Pedro, bound for Yokohama, and ended up in Hiroshima. By June the 19th, uh, 40, uh, my parents had to go back to the United States to resolve some uh, business issues. However, the intent was for them to return to Japan shortly after res resolution. But before they could come back, the war had started and we were stuck for the duration. It was a beautiful Monday morning. Around 8 o'clock, uh, we had heard that there was a B-29 approaching Hiroshima. And then the bomb went off. When the bomb exploded, uh, we were exactly 1.3 kilometers from the hypercenter. I didn't see the flash, nor did I hear the boom. I was knocked un unconscious. But when I came to, the structure was on top of me, and I could see fire and smoke around me. However, I wasn't badly injured, so I was able to dig myself out. And luckily, all four of us had survived. Uh, there were a number of people uh, walking like a parade of zombies uh, coming out of the inner city and trying to escape with tremendous injuries. And we had uh, dysentery, uh, we had hair loss. The stockpile of nuclear warhead have increased from two 77 years ago to now well over 13,000 worldwide. Let's hope that our world leaders study the history and understand the implication of nuclear weapon and that they could come up with a peaceful solution to the turmoil that's taking place around the world today. It is the hope of every Hibasha that no one else in the future generation will be designated as Hibasha again.